Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 34 of Skyrim. Alright, when we left off, we had uh, just reached our home to uh, rebuild a little part of our house here. Well, finalize the build of our house. And what we're going to do now, I think, is deal with Blood's Honor and wipe out the Glenmoral Witches. Because, you know, I figure it's about time. Now, the closest spot to get to there, I don't have. So, we're just going to start from our house. So, we're going to do a little exploration. Why not? It's about time, I think. I have things turned down a little bit, and I am leaning towards the mic a bit. Because most of my house is asleep. And I need to get this recorded, so... Yeah. <laughs> YouTubers work never rests. For much time, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I never actually think I've seen this barrow, so we're gonna unlock it on our map here. Or maybe I have seen this, and this is just one of the ones I know about. Oh yeah, this is one of the ones I know about. I just never unlocked it yet. Um... I should probably have Firebolt equipped. South Shriekwind Bastion. Yep, this is why I had Firebolt equipped. There you go, that was quick. <laughs> and that was four gold. Kind of useless. Oh, there's another one over here. That was a headshot. Is there anything else? Nope, okay. I could go in, but we're not going to do that. I just wanted to get close to the mission. <laughs> Jesus. Just got blown smithereens. Jeez. I do want to get this chest here, though. And I think there's another one over here? Nope. Okay, guess not. Yep. Had to sneeze. And it's gone. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> Yeah, usually when everyone's awake and whatnot, I would be willing to turn the, the uh, microphone up. Holy crap, this is just all melting into a little rapids area. Whee! Ooh, gold. That's always good. Yeah, normally I'd have the mic turned up, because I don't give a fuck if anyone hears me when I'm recording. In fact, I prefer it, so that way they don't think, oh, I'll walk in on him for absolutely no fucking reason. But, you know, I want to be somewhat civil. There we go. Whoop, down we go. Let's go through Falkreath City a little bit. Well, at least through the woodcutting part of it. And now we head fully west. Huh. It's sometimes very nice to just travel through Skyrim and just do your own thing, you know? I, I think that was kind of a, the point of most of all the Elder Scrolls games, was to be able to explore a world and just relax in it. And just come what may, you know? Uh, roadside ruins, uh, if I remember right. Uh, there's a couple bandits here. Oh. Nope, he already saw me. Or she's. I don't know. Okay. And away you go. Down. Spriggan. Taproot. And... Oh, I remember now. This thing... Yes. Enchanting. 44. Catalog of weapon enchantments. We'll read through that some other time. And this time I actually mean it. We will read it. Because it is kind of important. It's for everyone to know. Because it taught me a couple things about enchanting I didn't actually know at the time. And 
let's just put them down. Man, it's just so wonderful to have rain. I live in Oregon, so I'm used to rain at this point, but <laughs> I'm originally from Michigan. So winters there are normally just super duper snowy and icy. Which, you know, is not a bad thing. It's fun, but I just realized I was going down the wrong road. <laughs> Yeah, compared to uh, Michigan winters, the rain here in Oregon is actually peaceful and fun. Okay, and... Kamehameha! <laughs> Nerd! There we go. Oh, there's... I'm over here. And... Bam, right in the head. And I'm not going to get that one, I think. Damn, I missed. Ah, I overcorrected. I did set him on fire, though. Yeah, he's already gone. Yeah, he's gone. Let me get the other one. Where did he go? Uh, now I know why hunters have... Such problems trying to get the ones I get. Because then when you're distracted by another one, you just cannot find the first one you got. Ooh, that's a fortress. Uh, fuck. There you are. There we go. Uh, we're gonna not deal with that fortress right now, but we will keep it. You know, in mind, because another quest does require it. This looks foreboding. Yeah, especially with this circle here. We've already read this book, I think. Apothecary Satchel. Powdered Mammoth Tusk. You don't see that very often. Nern Root. Eh, might as well take it. Fuck. That's not what I meant. I was just mashing the button. Weak lingering poison. Really foreboding now. Uh, never seen this particular spot, so I don't know what to think of it. Uh, let's drop that book, since I don't need it. Okay, let's just drop it unceremoniously to the ground. That works. That does look really weird, though. Tell you what. That is just weirdness. Oh. Flowers. Always gotta keep an eye out for flowers, because they're very useful. In a lot of respects. Nightshade. Wait. It normally means a grave nearby. Um. Hmm. Don't really see one. Okay. We'll just pass on that one. There's a little campsite up ahead. I honestly don't remember this one. I don't remember much of anything because half the time I'm drunk. But. <laughs> but we should visit this one. Um. It might be a bile gulch, maybe? I think it might be. It's high elevation. Kind of reminds me of bile gulch. Um, it's a lot of rocks. Let's see if we can climb up this way. Catch them by surprise, maybe? Maybe? Uh, my voice went weird there. Nope, not going to be able to climb that. So instead, we'll try another route. 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 Whichever one. It doesn't count. It doesn't matter. It kind of does. What am I saying? Uh, I'm sleepy. Will you let me climb up you? You whore. Uh, I guess not. Okay. Scrap that. Scrap that idea. Although this does look... Familiar. 
uh, Twilight Sepulchre. I think I remember what this is. And I don't want to go in there. Not at all. This is east. Ah, oh, damn it. I've been completely screwed over. Because of that one little spot there. Yep. What the? What is that? Suck. Well, they got launched. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> but, uh, Fire Mage is gonna get at me now. So. At least I assume it's a Fire Mage. George! And I missed. And I'm gonna die if I don't get some health in me. Uh. Healing, or the health, a couple of minor ones, and I think a resist fire would be useful now. Come on, let me get you down. There we go. Okay, not a lot there. Figured as much, but it happens. Um. Yeah, we'll try and go around it a different way. Because we kind of need to go that way. It's kind of necessary. Ooh, jitter. That was weird. Might have been just loading, but... You know, it's hard to tell now. <laughs> I mean, before I had the uh, hard drive, it used to take forever to load. But now it's a little better, so hey. Not gonna complain. Uh, let's go to that cottage. Maybe that'll be a good mark to go around. What the hell happened here? Horse dead. Another horse. Oh, take the hide because I can at least use that. What the hell? Gold, at least. Gold. Are they holding something? Why would they burn the cargo? This must have been a dragon attack, and I can't get up anymore. There we go. There we go. Frundum ingot. They had some stuff. Not a lot. Leather armor. Whoops. I stepped on fire. That was... I've never seen that one either. <laughs> this is the day of exploration. That is what this episode is going to be called. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on, you know, my mood and if something crazier happens. Um, let's... Those are right in my face. Let's see what this one is. I think it's a bandit tower. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's a bandit tower. Banner Mist Tower. Yep, bandits. Now ain't this a surprise. Oh, didn't even need to swing. Uh, take those, and I'll recharge my sword. Just because I like seeing the souls being used. Um, unlock this. Whoop, but not gonna do it. That'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Fork, and now mine. Take those, and I'll loot this little spot. Uh, search the chest. Eh, just a bunch of gold. That's the only useful stuff. And up here, I assume this is where the uh, last one is. The little bandit leader. Nope, not even a leader. What you gonna do? Huh? Take you. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Ah, uh, it has never been framed like that. That is awesome. What you gonna do, huh? Cool. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. That was awesome. It's 
like saying to a guy with a knife, what are you gonna do, stab me? And then he gets stabbed, it's your own fault. Jesus, pretty much brought it on yourself. Uh, that's kind of bad to say, but you know. Don't antagonize people with weapons, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's basically what I'm saying. I'm just gonna exp pick up everything that's in these barrels. Because my foot's in my mouth <laughs> right now. I'll just take those potatoes. Those are good. Uh, got a bit of Irish in me. So, you know. Gotta rely on the potatoes. Uh, red apple and tomatoes. Yes. I was waiting for those to pop up. And we'll call this spot good for now. We'll head north. Or north. It's more west. <sighs> I'm just used to saying north because, you know, venturing people go north. Mm. What the? Who are you? Bandit Highwayman. You're. Bounty to me because I accidentally hit the horse. Really? Uh, I'm thane, so I don't really need to kill it. Should I? I don't think I need to. Where did it come from, anyway? All the way over here? Hmm. Let's see what the highwayman had on him. Probably not a lot, but you know, never hurts. That's another bandit. One of the highwaymen. Steel arrow, gold, gold ingot. Ruby ring. Hey, he had some stuff after all. Not enough, but hey. Beggars can't be choosers. They can. They can totally be choosers. Huh. <sighs> Let's keep going. This is the remains of a tower. There we go. Ah, oh, they got a... Got a hit in. But hey. That was still impressive, considering how bad my aim was earlier. And this is one other catch, I assume. Ooh, blister wart. That's good for health potions. So... Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Cool. They made their little alcove out of a uh, ruined tower. That's actually kind of cool. Your attention to detail like that. That's pretty cool. And that's another wolf. Down you go. There we go. Go up now. Ooh, this is a cave. And I think this is the Glenmore cave. an Argonian assassin. Female. Alright. If you get up, I do have poison on my weapon, though. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be poisoning it. Because I ain't going to no, take any shit. Not like this. Sorry, I told you. You asked for mercy, and I gave it to you. Take that potent poison, eh? Cool beans. Uh, Dark Brotherhood Assassins, no. So they were from me. I don't know what I did. Hmm. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Well, it was now. Uh, hmm. What I normally do is that I take one of the weapons they used against me as a sign of respect, and then I enchant it with the uh, species name or race's name. 
technically. And, you know, assassin title. You tried. You tried valiantly, let me tell you. So I will drop... Where is it? Ah, oh, I have so much ingredients, it's hard to get to it. There you are. Just drop it on you. As a sign of respect to the Brotherhood. Alright. Let's head over to the Coven entrance. And then we'll end this episode. Because I'll have done what I set out to do. <laughs> rocks. Why does it always have to be rocks? There we go. Now we are here. Len Moral Coven. Alright. We'll end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more of them. I post them daily. And click the like button if you like this particular video. You know, with the rambling and the exploring. And, you know, share so we can bring more people into this community. And comment so that way I can have some feedback from you guys especially needed it last episode when i listened to youtube and i shouldn't have <laughs> and i will see y'all in the next episode this has been the one the only stray cat playing games for you